بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیئر اینڈ تدائی وتھ دا ٹاپک آف فور ایئر ٹول اینڈ ایل ٹی آئی سسٹمس نا فسٹ آف آل لیٹ می ٹیل یو دیٹ اٹ از رمضان کریم سو یو ہیو ٹو ریممبر می ان یور پیئرس ایز ویل اوکے اینڈ دا نیکسٹ تھنگ از اگین ڈیو ٹو رمضان اف یو آر فاسٹنگ سو آئی ووڈ ٹرائی ٹو کیپ مائی والیوم ڈاؤن لیٹل Uh, as generally I speak a little louder so I drink a lot of water over here but as I cannot drink water now so I will try to keep my volume a little down anyways anyways that is nothing that was just you know to talk to you a little the topic is the Fourier tool and LTI systems and by the way the weather is extremely beautiful outside as well so Now, uh, what do I mean by Fourier tool? So I mean is what we have studied till now. The Fourier series, we are done. The Fourier transform, we are done. At least in the continuous time domain. And LTI systems, again, we have studied in a greater detail. So in this video and the next to follow, we see this is basically an introductory video, smaller one this would be. So in this video we see that how can we use the Fourier tool with respect to or in accordance with the LTI systems. So that is basically the topic. We want to combine the two things together. Okay. So anyways, what do we start off with? We start with the simple exponential function, right? We start with the simple exponential function exponential of j omega t and if this is applied to an LTI system so what would be the output? The output would be some scaling factor and that scaling factor is h of j omega and times the same input j omega t and why is this and how is this so we know this very well that this exponential function is the eigen function of the system. This is the eigen function of an LTI system. And what do we mean by eigen function? So you know that very well. And this means that if you give it to a system, you get the same output, you get the same thing at the output multiplied by some scaling factor, amplitude changes. And what is that amplitude scaling factor? So that is the the eigenvalue of the system eigenvalue of the system and now as we have studied these topics in detail so we know what this eigenvalue is as well we know this h of j omega this is equal to the integration negative infinity to positive h of t exponential of negative j omega t with respect to t Now, in simpler terms, in simpler terms, what is this? This is the eigenvalue of the system or this is just a Fourier transform relation. You can see, okay, this is with the, the, the frequency domain signal j omega. This is the time domain signal multiplied this thing and then the integration. So we know that this is some relation of a Fourier transform, right? And we also know that this is the value of the eigenvalue of the system. But we also know that in the signal and system language, what do we call it? We call this as the frequency response of the system. Frequency response of this LTI system. And what do we have? This H of T also we know. H of T is the impulse response of the system. So which means what? That we can say that the frequency response of an LTI system is the Fourier transform of Fourier transform of impulse response of the system and of the very same system right and we know this very well We know this very well. This is just to elongate this video I've written. Now, why am I elongating it? So, if this was just a smaller video, if I could have done it, so that would be very small. And then if I combine it with the next one, so it would get very long and that would get boring. So, we, we do it over here. 
This is the Fourier transform? Yes, we, we know this, right? Now what do we have? This was only one complex exponential signal given to an LTI system. What if we have a linear combination? So if we have a linear combination of what? Of the same complex exponential, which means that my x of t would be what? A summation k running from negative infinity to positive a k exponential of j uh, yes k omega naught t k omega naught t and you know what this is this is the Fourier series representation of a system right so what do we have now we provide this to an LTI system what would be the output now the output would be again the same signal multiplied with some scaling factor again and that scaling factor is again what the same h of but now we're here have a look this is k times omega naught this is basically the value of omega this is a periodic signal by the Fourier series so this uh, the, 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 the complex exponential is lying at some frequency which is an integral multiple of the fundamental frequency so similar would be the case over here you would have an h of j k omega naught and then you would have this thing summation k running in negative infinity to positive a k exponential of j k omega naught t and this is what it is fine so now what do we have the if you see if you see so the the Fourier series coefficients the input Fourier series coefficients are what input Fourier series coefficient they are equal to a k right but what do we have over here in the output Fourier series coefficients what do we have the output Fourier series coefficients are multiplied by some factor and that is h of j k omega naught times the original of the input a k which means that the amplitude of the output Fourier series coefficient would change depending on the frequency response of the system at that particular frequency right and let me write this point down from the book what does the book say that the the effect of LTI system is to mod, to modify individually each of the Fourier coefficients of the input through multiplication by the frequency response at the corresponding frequency so what have we got through an LTI system what do we have the output Fourier series coefficient the, the Fourier series coefficients of the input have been changed modified input Fourier series coefficients are modified and what is the modification that they are multiplied by what by the value of frequency response at that particular frequency and what do I mean by that particular frequency I mean the same k omega naught where this input a k exists at that k omega naught so what have we got well, through the application of Fourier to the LTI system that the LTI system does what to the Fourier series coefficients it multiplies it by some scaling factor which means the amplitude of the Fourier series coefficient are changed by the amount of the frequency response and that is it for this video now why did I talk of this so basically dealing with amplitudes the amplitude of Fourier coefficient determine the amplitude of different frequency components present in the signal and we know this so why did I start this topic I started this because of the uh, over here we are basically interested in the amplitude of the Fourier series coefficients and this is leading us to the topic of filtering which I start in the next video where in some cases we want to change the amplitude of the frequency component of some frequency in some cases we want to eliminate it overall so that is what this is just developing the background for the topic of filtering so that's it for this video see you in the next video very soon inshallah goodbye